That's good. Do you not want one? Tell me about Eddie. <laughs> he was my father, after all. Eddie? Where did you hear that from? Oh, come on, just get a drink and join me, come on. You know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> oh. Right, what, what do you want to know? Just throw it at me, come on. Let's get it out. Ooh, just something? Eddie was, was Eddie, and, and things happened. Things. One night. <laughs> you know I like a margarita, and it just happened, so. <laughs> it just happened? Yeah. Mm. How long had you known each other? Eddie was my friend. He was my, my colleague. You know, we spent a lot of time together. We were close. Mm. Obviously. He had a different side to him, and, uh... Well, I saw that one night. Mm. So I hear. There's not really much more to the story, to be honest. That's um, not what I've heard. Well, what have you heard, my darling? Why don't you tell me? Come on. What have you heard? I've heard bits and pieces. Oh, That's why I'm here. Okay. Bits and pieces, right. Um, just tell me, what difference is it going to make to you if you know the ins and outs of everything that happened between me and Eddie? Did it hurt? <laughs> you want to know if him fucking me hurt? That's an interesting question. Wow. Sweetheart, you don't want to know the ins and outs of what happened between me and your father. <sighs> Maybe I do. Maybe I need to hear it. Why? Why? So I can make some kind of sense out of this mess. He's not even here anymore, so what difference is it going to make to your life and mine? I don't care. You don't need to. Exactly. Mm. It's where I came from. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> I mean, look at me and look at you. Where you came from really doesn't matter. <laughs> You've got me as your mom. Isn't that enough? You don't need to know anything else. Lori, just get on with your life. I've got on with mine. He got on with his. What are you going to do now? Well, for starters, I'm going to finish my margarita and I suggest you join me. Don't you think you had one too many? Do I look like I had one too many? Oh, sweetheart. What else am I going to do with my days? It's not like I'm useful anymore, is it? You've taken over. Look at you. I'm sure Eddie loved seeing you as well when he was here. God bless him. He's gone now. It's quite sad, actually. There's only three of us left. Wonder who will be next. <laughs> and what brings my daughter to the city of the dead? I can't visit without being in the third degree. I'm not a pert mom. Then pour yourself a margarita. Where's the atomic lover? Please stop calling him that. Just because you choose to live your life without love doesn't mean I have to. God. Me? Honey, please. I've been in love like four times. John's at a funeral I didn't feel like attending, so he teleported me here. I mean, I just got through throwing up in the ladies' room. Eddie Blake's funeral, right? The paper said he was murdered. I guess he got his punchline. Poor Eddie. <clears throat> Poor Eddie? That man is, is a psychopath. Lori, you are very young. What happened happened 40 years ago. It's history. So is Daco. I guess that just leaves 
three of us left from the original team. Me, Holly Mason, poor old Byron Lewis in the bug house. Oh, I am not saying to curl up and whimper about it for the rest of your life. I'm just saying- What? <clears throat> what are you saying? Just, sometimes you gotta see people for what they really are. 